This video explains how to fill the area under a line plot using the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines two and three of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data set called data is appearing at the top right. And if you click on this data frame, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains six rows and the two numeric columns, X and Y. Now, if we want to draw these data in a line plot using the basic installation of the R programming language, we can use the plot function, as you can see in line five of the code. And within the plot function, we need to specify our data frame and we need to set the type argument to be equal to L and L stands for line plot. So after running line five of the code, you can see at the bottom right that we have created a line plot based on our data. However, at this point, there's no filling below the line. So if we want to add a filling below the line, we can use the polygon function, as you can see in lines eight to 10. So within the polygon function, we need to specify the minimum value where the polygon should start. Then we have to specify the values in our X column and we have to specify the maximum value of our X axis. And then we have to set the Y argument to be equal to zero, our Y column and zero. And then we also have to specify the color that we want to use. So in this case, I'm using this hex color code to draw our filling. So after running lines eight to 10 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated. And this time we have added a filling area under our line plot. So in this first example, I have explained how to fill the area under a line plot using base R. However, it's also possible to use the ggplot2 package for this task. And for that reason, I want to show you another example in which I'm using the ggplot2 package, which starts in line 12. So first in lines 12 and 13 of the code, I'm installing and loading the ggplot2 package. I have installed the package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 13 of the code. And then in the next step in lines 15 and 16 of the code, I'm creating a ggplot2 plot object using the ggplot and geomline functions. So after running these lines of code, a new plot object called ggp is appearing at the top right. And we can draw this plot by running line 17. And then you can see at the bottom right that we have created a ggplot2 line plot. Now, if we want to fill the area below this line, we basically have two options. And the first option is based on the geom area function, as you can see in lines 19 and 20 of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm first specifying our ggp plot object that I have created before. And then I'm adding on top of this, the geom area function. And within this function, I'm specifying the fill argument to be equal to our hex color code. So after running lines 19 and 20 of the code, our plot is recreated. And as you can see, we have shown our line at the top and then the area below this line is filled with our blue color. However, you can also see that the Y axis has been changed in this case because before the lowest point of the Y axis was at the value two. However, the geom area function has moved the Y axis to the lowest point at zero. So in case we want to keep the original Y axis, we can use the geom ribbon function instead of the geom area function, as you can see in lines 22 to 25. And within the geom ribbon function, we need to specify the aesthetics and the aesthetics need to be specified according to y min and y max. And these need to be set to be equal to min y and y. And then as in the geom area function, we need to set the fill argument to be equal to our hex color code. So after running lines 22 to 25 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated once again. And as you can see this time, we have created a line plot with filled area below. However, our line plot is starting at the same Y axis position as it was without the filling color. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. 
I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.